All right, so today we are going to strip a cup. Um, I have this lovely cup that, you know, started out nice and then I totally messed it up. So I tried sanding it down, which is why it's um, less shiny right there, but I didn't really like it to begin with. Um, it wasn't really um, what I wanted to do, so I'm gonna strip it for you. So I have my bucket. It's a two and a half gallon bucket. I have a lid. Um, now I actually uh, cut a hole in the lid and then I put a piece of, of tape there. I don't know whether it actually helps or not, but I figure that it's more likely to vent through there if there is a buildup of pressure in the bucket um, than, you know, exploding the lid off. So that's what I did. So we're going to put the cup. Actually, let's do it this way first. I've got my acetone. Um, I this is, I bought from I think Walmart. It doesn't really matter where you get it uh, as long as it's actually acetone. Um, you're gonna take the lid off. Now, these kind of gloves will melt from acetone. So if you are actually touching acetone and working with it, definitely, definitely use the uh, thicker gloves like the ones that you use for washing dishes. So I have my acetone. I'm just gonna pour some in. So it's not actually a lot. I don't know if you can see that or not. See, not a lot. Um, you're basically working with fumes. So I'm gonna put the cup in, bottom down, put the lid on. All right, lid is on, and I will come back to this tomorrow or you know in a week or whenever I remember it. And it should be ready to just be wiped off. All right, I have my nice thick gloves on. I have a old uh, bag that I'm gonna use to wipe the strip cup off on. Um, and I have paper towel. Now, I would strongly suggest, I normally actually do this straight over a garbage can, but because, um, and I normally am wearing a mask, but because we are doing this, I am outside, so it is better ventilation. And I'm just doing it over the bag so you can see. So, I am going to put my hand in the cup, kind of flex the hand out a little bit to hold it. And you'll see it's nice and ready to flake off. Look at that. Comes off great. Now, if it doesn't come off completely, then you can put it back in the cup or back in the bucket and do it again. Now, I'm gonna just take my um, paper towel, dip it in a little bit, and just help to wipe the last little bits off. Now it doesn't need to be completely clean because we are just going to re-prep it and uh, do it again. But we do want to make sure that there is nothing sticking out on the cup. Um, no extra little bits of paint or epoxy that as soon as this dries is going to cause issues. And you will see as well that my I still have some acetone in there so I will be just putting the lid on and leaving it for the next cup if I end up with little greeblies like the stuff that's sitting here in the bucket then I just bought a cheap little strainer uh, metal strainer from uh, the dollar store and I use that I pour it into a different container uh, discard the greebly bits and then put it back in my bucket again. And that is it. You have a strip cup ready for um, reprepping. You'll want to wash it um, and then you can spray paint it and start again.